Hey guys, welcome back. I have that song from Mace stuck in my head. You know, welcome back. Does anybody even remember Mace? I don't, I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> Hopefully some of you guys that watch me are old enough to remember Mace, but I love that song. Uh, it's pretty random, but anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for part two of my Best in Beauty Makeup Edition for 2017. If you haven't watched part one, after this video, you can go ahead and watch it. I'll have it linked in the info card above. So now today we're going to be talking about contouring products, highlighting, blush, setting spray, lip products, you know, we got we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> um, so first off, if you're brand speaking new to my channel and you love beauty videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm here, I'm going back to three times a week, which I'm really happy to say, <laughs> and I'm committing to it, I promise. And yeah, you know, we're like a big family on my channel, so um, join the family. <laughs> and if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey girl, it's so nice to see See you again. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started. First off, we're gonna talk about contouring products. So I'm mainly gonna focus on like mid-tier and like higher-end makeup. Most of it's mid-tier, but I'm doing all the drugstore makeup in a separate video. So the first one that I love and I've used and abused this is the Tartiste Contour Palette. I think it was in my video for last year's, but honestly, I use it so much and it still lasts me I mean look at this and I love that it's got a contour shade for my deeper chocolate ladies I use this shade right here the blush is popping and I love these two highlight shades I'm not really into like banana powder kind of um, powders but you know if you are this is really good and I don't even know if they sell it I thought it was sold out but maybe it's not if I can find it online I will list it down in the description box but it is a really 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 great one so this next one is definitely like an OG favorite so many people have talked about it um, I know it was like super hyped in the past but I really love this this is the Anastasia cream contour kit in what is this deep so you know Know, you open it up here and you've got everything you could possibly want <laughs> um, it is so good I love this like concealer shade and I use these two for you know like contouring and bronzing and all that kind of stuff I really love cream contour products because I feel like they look just so much more natural if you're going for like you know everyday makeup um, cream contours are the best and this one by ABH is amazing moving on on to a liquid highlight I love to put liquid highlights as like a base and then go on top with a powder highlight so the first one that I want to talk about is one that I've been obsessed with like for the past probably seven or eight months and this is called Glossier and this is Topaz um, I'm gonna swatch it I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell but it is like a really nice, as you can see here, golden kind of sheen, not too bold, and you can still layer it and have it just look amazing. So it's definitely worth checking out, um, and it's just super travel friendly, easy to clean, you know, if you get any makeup on this white part, um, like props to Glossier, because it's a bomb. Now, the next one is a liquid highlight that's a little bit more intense. This is the Cover FX Cover custom enhancer drops and this is in the one candlelight um, I promise you this will give you a beautiful beautiful glow as you can see like look at this shade here I don't want to waste it because it is around I think it's like 40 bucks 42 bucks but you get a lot of product because like girl all you need is literally like one drop on your hand take some dab it on with your finger and it will just look it will look amazing um so I really like this so if you're like down to commit to a liquid highlight and have one for a long time this one is really good as well so another one that's on the more affordable end is one that I recently discovered around November of last year and this is the ColourPop amber crystal liquid highlighter so I can't remember how much it is but I'll have it in the description box it's like maybe like six dollars somewhere in that so it's definitely affordable um, I just love the little pump that comes with it you got a little cap here all you have to do is when you are ready to go ahead and use it just shake it up 
and then pump some out on your hand and you can use your fingers or you can use a beauty blender this one definitely has like a sheen to it like a soft sheen so it's not like blinding but you can still layer other ones on top it has kind of like that dewy highlighter look you know so now we're gonna move on to powder highlights and I gotta say I have an obsession with highlights it was incredibly hard for me to just pick some and I still have picked a lot here so this is gonna be the one with the most products in here to talk to you guys about I'm sorry I'm sorry but hopefully you like highlighter as much as I do so the first one is a bit unusual um, this one is from morphe and it's actually a like pigmented shadow it's called mimosa Sunday and um, the thing is even though it looks quite light as you can see here you're probably like girl I'm not gonna put that on my face but but <laughs> Be open-minded. If you can see my collarbone highlight here, that is this pigment. Take like a, um, what is this called? This is like an angled, like, you know, cheek brush or whatever, and just put that on there. Doesn't it look beautiful? Like subtle little glistening right there. So this is really a bomb highlight if you wanna go like the affordable route. Um, again, it's Mimosa Sunday from Morphe really 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 good so this one a lot of you guys probably have this one it's like a fan favorite it was like super hyped a couple years ago but I still gotta give this one credit because I always keep coming back to it and I'm like oh yes damn like, I love that one <laughs> this right here is a Becca Topaz and it's this just beautiful like look at this like coppery gold shimmer and you really just need a little bit like I, I'm not even close to hitting pan on this and it really does last a while you also get a cute little mirror in here nice and compact I mean those of you guys that have used topaz you know you know that it's bomb <laughs> So the next one I want to talk about is from Ofra Cosmetics. This is called Bali and it's so, so freaking pretty. It's like a champagne-y gold with like flecks of like rose gold in it. Oh man, I used this when I took my uh, driver's license photo and it just photographs so well. You don't even need a lot of it. I mean, you can, Ofra can build up to like an intense glow. They have th those highlighters that can just do it for you, but it's just... Uh, it just complements like chocolate skin so well and I really think for like tan slash olive skin it would look really really nice. Now I've got to be honest I've never tried Jouer products before I've tried this highlight and I was always like okay okay like everybody's talking about Jouer are they just like pushing this on us is it even really a good highlight and I decided to try this one um, this is called tan lined and I don't think that in the pan it does it justice but let me show you guys it just looked like look at that it looks so pretty you can blend it out and it just looks so nice on deeper skin tones I have to give it up to them um, I never thought you know I would like be into Jouer at all but I think that they really know what they're doing and I mean like how could you not love that glow you see and you can even build it up if you want to but I purchased this at Gen Beauty because they were having like like when you go to those kind of beauty events you can purchase these products at a discount so I I was like shoot you know what I'm gonna try it now's the time and I'm so glad that I did okay so you know you know I had to slip up some Fenty Beauty up in here and this is trophy wife and I know some of you guys are scared to use this because it's straight up yellow but how I love to use this is if you like take your first highlight and you put it on like say something like this right and then you just take one dab literally with your brush guys take your brush one dab very lightly and you just kind of like place it on there it is the most beautiful highlight topper you've ever seen because when you're in that sunlight and it glistens you get that like soft glisten from the yellow flex Ooh, it is gorgeous it's gorgeous so for those of you guys that are not like fans of like super pop and highlight I think that just using this as a topper will be really really nice so my last highlight that I want to talk to you guys about this is from um, 
It's Natasha Denona. This is the All Over Glow Face and Body Shimmer Powder. So I have two of these. I have this in 02 and 03. So this one right here is, I believe, 02. This is their medium. And I know it looks kind of like dark in the pan, but when you put it on, let's see here. It's just kind of like a nice soft sheen. Layer some more on for you guys. It's so nice, it's so soft. Here we go, you can see that little glimmer. And that's why I love it, because it goes on and it's like this, like like I said, a sheen, but it doesn't accentuate pores, none of that. Um, it just literally looks like the sun or the light just like caught your cheek, you know? And I also have 03, so I like to use that one in the summertime when I'm darker. Um, so my girls that are, you know, a little bit more chocolatey, deeper skin toned, that's really gonna be nice for you. And they last a long time. I also love the packaging. It's just nice and sleek. Um, you do get your fingerprints on that, so if that's not something you're into, just beware, but it doesn't really bother me. I just think it looks really like sleek and kind of like 1920s, 1930s kind of vibes, you know? <laughs> okay, so for blush, I'm going to skip the blush category only because some of my favorite blushes are drugstore blushes. So I want to save that for my drugstore video. So definitely be on the lookout for that because there's going to be some really cool gems in there. But let's move on and I want to talk about setting spray. Okay, so the first one that I want to talk about is not truly a setting spray, but I include it in part of my setting makeup process. <laughs> this one is MAC Fix Plus, and guys, I literally, I can't live without this. Like, look at how low this one is. I have a backup waiting. I can't be without it. I can't do my makeup without it. When you spray it on your face, um, typically after you're done with your powder products, it kind of like brings all of the makeup together. So instead of it looking powdery or cakey, it just like I don't know what it does. It makes it like melt and look beautiful. I know that there is glycerin in this, which is possibly partially responsible for that. It just makes your face look like moisturized and I feel like that's the number one factor that makes my makeup look good. I never look cakey because of Fix Plus. So usually after I'm done with Fix Plus, I'll go in with uh, one of two setting sprays. I kind of pick each one depending on the weather outside and what I want my makeup to look like. So the first one is Milani Make It Dewy and I promise you this is an amazing amazing setting spray if you want to look like fresh faced you know especially during winter because it's like negative six degrees outside today so I'm like trying desperately to cling to moisture <laughs> and this is really 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 bomb for that. So when it isn't cold outside because I do have usually combination oily skin I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It is amazing. I feel like it really has helped my makeup like just stick to my skin and usually I'll get you know like some smile lines so I always make sure to like put extra in that area to make sure that everything just like sticks you know what I mean but um, this is their new packaging because I finally finished the old one the old one is like white and purple and um, yeah I love it if you haven't tried all-nighter I definitely recommend it I can't forget about eye products um, <laughs> my favorite 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 eyeliner is the Inglot gel number 77 you guys this little pot will last you so long I mean look at it it is the blackest truest eyeliner that I've ever used and I love gel eyeliner because I can use a like angled brush and apply my liner so much easily because right at the tips of my eyes because I have hooded eyes there's like a fold here so even though I do use a uh, pen eyeliners you know fairly frequently it can be really hard because I have a fold right at that edge so when I'm going over that liner it always always skips but when I use gel eyeliner I can control it more um, a runner-up is definitely the Clinique like easy liner I have it here hold on this one right here that I've just discovered um, it came in my Sephora play box and it's really nice it is not a matte Ooh. It 
is really nice, but it is not a matte eyeliner. It has a shiny finish, and it's not the truest black I've ever seen. It's more like a gray black. But if you don't care about that, then this is really, really good if you're a beginner. So as far as my favorite mascaras, my first true love this year was the L'Oreal Blush Paradise. I mean, I've used this <laughs> so much. Like, as you can see, the actual, like, design is chipping off here but I love it it's just so good like I, I don't know there's just too many good things I did a review on it if you want to see some more details and you want to see how it performs um, you can definitely check it out on my channel and the next one that I discovered fairly recently is the Essence Lash Princess and oh man this gives the L'Oreal Paradise a run for its money because this one's about five dollars and I think that the L'Oreal Paradise is like like nine ten somewhere in that neighborhood um, so this is definitely more affordable but who yeah it's called the false lash effect mascara and I definitely agree as somebody who has a really tiny natural lashes it really does a great job so now I want to move on to my favorite everyday eyeshadow palettes and this is really hard for me you guys because I love eyeshadow I feel like I'm a palette collector like I just I don't know so it's like trying to pick which one of your children is the favorite <laughs> it's hard it's hard okay um, but I singled it down even though I probably would be so comfortable talking to you about 20 different palettes I'm not gonna do that <laughs> the first one that I want to talk about is the Too Faced sweet peach palette I love this it's got everything you want it's got great transition colors it's got peachy tones it's also got bronze toned it's also got purples which i love i love putting purples on my lid this cool green color a kind of black like serpentine kind of color it's very interesting mixed in chocolatey color like you could it's everything you want it also has a really nice scent which has kept its scent since I can't remember when I purchased this, February through April, somewhere in that time last year, and it still smells amazing. It's really easy to take with you. It's it's bomb, guys. Um, so let me know if you love the Sweet Peach palette too. It's just, yeah, I love it. <laughs> the next one is definitely for those who love warm tones, okay? So this one is the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay, which I just, I love and I thought that I would never get this palette because it's like ugh, I hate the naked palette formulas like in the past they've just been so ugh, and I was like all like you know uppity about getting it and thank goodness I got the opportunity to try it out because when you look at this I mean come on like look at that look at those beautiful shades the formula is amazing the shimmers are amazing and I feel like this is definitely applicable to wear every day date night wherever you want to go you can find a combination of shades suitable for you so I think if you haven't tried this out already girl girl you better get on it and last but not least in the eyeshadow palette category I've got the behemoth here <laughs> The Morphe 39A palette. Some of you guys saw my review on this giant palette. Let me open it up for you guys. I mean, whew, there we go, there we go. Girl, you got every shadow you could ever want in this palette. And what I love is that the transitions here are huge. You can even use some of them as contouring shades if you so desire, because they look beautiful. And I just feel like you could take this palette anywhere with you and you could just create so many looks. The possibilities are freaking endless. Someone did ask me recently which one I like more, this palette or the Jaclyn Hill palette. And that's so hard to answer. Like the answer is I like both for different reasons. I like the formula of the Jaclyn Hill palette way better. Um, I just feel like they blend more. They're a slightly, very slightly more pigmented. But this one, the 39A palette, you just get better transition shades for, you know, people of color. You get, um, 
a wide variety of colors and I just keep going back. Actually, I love when I'm doing eye looks to combine this one and the Jaclyn Hill palette as well. And you just get so many different colors. So definitely, definitely check this one out. The next category, we're going to be talking about lip products. And I love lip products because look, I got to tell you, I'm a nude lover. I love my nudes, okay? I do wear lip colors, but typically because I like to explore in the eye area, I always pair it with a nude lipstick um, because I just love the way that they look, right? And who doesn't love nudes? Um, so I do have nudes, but I do have one color, like actual color, that I'm going to get out of the way. Just talk about it really quickly because I got a lot of nudes sitting in front of me. <laughs> um, this one is from Urban Decay. It's from their Naked Heat collection, and it's the shade Heat. Uh, the reason I love it is, yes, it's a red, it's like a red-orange color, but it's also got shimmer in it. So if you like shimmer on your lips, girl, put this on. It's really, really nice. The formula lasts. It doesn't, like, rub off throughout the day. Um, you know, I mean, if you're eating and you're, like, really going in while you're eating, you might need to just touch up, but it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Now that that's out of the way, nudes. Let's go. <laughs> also sticking with Urban Decay, I got this uh, lipstick called Conspiracy. It's a brown with like subtle shimmer in this. I wear this all the time and I always pair it with my MAC Chestnut, which is my favorite, favorite brown liner. I'm always talking about this. It combines with any, any lip that you want to for a beautiful brownie, combination. So both of these, Urban Decay, Conspiracy, and MAC Chestnut are amazing. Then as far as liquid lipsticks, I really like Tarte's formula. Their Tarteiste lip paint is bomb. And this kind of color is, uh, it's called Brownie, and it's a definite dupe for Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K, the like, you know, her first shade that she ever came out with. But I love this because the formula is way better than the Kylie Cosmetics one. It stays on, it's comfortable on the lips, it doesn't rub off. I mean, what else could you hope for? So this is a really, really nice shade. It's like a neutral brown. Um, and I definitely advise you checking it out. I want to see and try out more of their um, colors from this line because, like I said, I really love the way it wears. Now, as far as lip glosses, I really like, um, there's two. I love this one. It's from Anastasia. Beverly Hills is in the shade fudge and I also love sepia and I was looking for sepia for a long time because I knew I was gonna do this video and since I moved because uh, you guys know I moved from California on to the East Coast in Vermont since I moved I have not been able to find it and I can't figure out if I used it up or if it's disappeared so <laughs> I have to order a new one but sepia there it's in the same family as fudge it's just slightly lighter both of them are epically epically beautiful and go really nice with any eye look any makeup whatever you want they're both bomb and speaking of glosses how could i not talk about the fenty beauty gloss bomb you guys this smells like watermelons and like just takes me to a tropical oasis whenever i use it <laughs> And for me, it goes on top of any nude combination so well. I'm wearing it right now. And I love, I love like a glossy lip, but sometimes I'll just combine my um, liquid lipstick products and liner, and then I'll just like put this on top and it's the perfect, perfect shade. Also, because I recently did a review on this, probably I've been wearing this since I have to say like November and I'm so glad I found this company. I love the Mented Lipsticks. Now the one that I use the most is called Dope Taupe and it's very similar to um, Anastasia like fudge. It's perfect perfect for like brownish or anybody really. I mean you could wear it. It doesn't matter. But for me it's like the perfect nude and man when you combine this with MAC chestnut liner it's so bomb. I'm just gonna swatch this. If you haven't checked out my review of all the shades you definitely should because um, there are amazing ones that I'm not talking about. But this is Dope Taupe. I mean you can't go wrong with this shade. It's just 
I can see it complimenting so many people, like I said before. Um, I just can't stop wearing it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> so if you just stumbled across this video, now would be a really good time to go ahead and check on part one if you haven't watched it already. Don't forget to stay on the lookout for my drugstore edition. I'm gonna keep this series going for the whole month of January. I'm gonna keep talking about skincare and if you guys still want me to um, hair care, but let me know in the comments what other stuff you'd like to see. If you're excited for the drugstore edition, if you're excited for the skincare, if you want me to do uh, like natural hair care products, I'm all down to do that for you guys. All right, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.